Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF-17 and we're looking at the amazing weapon that is the GB-6. It is a glide bomb, it is an INS GPS guided glide bomb and it can be used in two methods, pre-planned or target of opportunity. Pre-planned means that we know where the target position is before we even take off. We can enter it into the data computer and then we can fire the weapon. Target of opportunity is where we only find the target when we are in the air. So first we're going to look at pre-planned. And there are three ways of adding pre-planned targets into the data computer. One is in the mission editor here. Two is in the F10 menu. Three is through the actual cockpit itself, through the HUD. We're not going to go through the HUD option because it's quite laborious. And to be honest, I just don't think you'll be interested. But the F10 and the mission editor, we will show. So if we click on our guy here and we're going to look at our scenario. We've got this building here. This is our pre-planned target because that is not going to move. And then we have a battalion of tanks or platoon of tanks and they are going to be moving. So these will be TOO, this will be pre-planned. So we're going to go there, navigation target point. We're going to add it on there. That is that pre-planned point set there and you must type in the PP number. So in the comment under that target point, PP1. If we had more, it would be PP2, PP3 and so on. Spelt exactly like that. So that is that pre-planned point added via the mission editor. Now that's going to show adding it in in the F10 map. So from the cockpit, F10, find the target here. We're going to put mark and mark label. We're going to click on the target there. We're going to call it PP1 again and the same thing the more targets you have PP1, PP2, PP3 and so on. Now we need to equip with the weapons, weapons screen. Sadly we can only carry two of these amazing weapons, pylons 3 and 5. We get three different types, GBU6. This is a cluster munition for light infantry and very light armour. HE, just one big 1000 pound explosive warhead. SFW is the equivalent of a CBU-97, so that is armor-piercing IR-guided pucks. Really good stuff. So we're going to have this on pylon 3, and on pylon 5, we're going to have the just the HE for firing at the, uh, the, the house. For the target of opportunity, we're going to need a T-Pod. We don't have to use a T-Pod. We could create a speed through a waypoint. We could create a speed through DST. We could create a speed through the HUD, but just for ease and realism, we're gonna use the T-Pod. That's realistically, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're gonna use to create a speed for a TOO. Arm that up. As you can see, they're rather large. Now we're armed up, of course. Our normal procedure of cartridge in. I'm sure you've all done this a hundred times by now. Wait for the SMS. All. Enter. Now I want to prove to you that that F10 PP1 point has come through to the data computer. So I'm going to go destination. And I'm going to scroll down. These are our, our, our computer data memory slots. And you can see there, it's put it in data slot 36. There is a northing and easting and the elevation of that F10 point. Now we're going to take off and go and use the weapons. We're in the cockpit now. The target island is roughly in front of us there. Master arm on. Air to ground mode. Select. And we have our weapons. They're warming up now and they will be ready shortly. We have currently got station 5 selected. That is going to be our HE. So that's what we use first on the pre-plan mode. So, mode pre-planned how many do we want we can have one or two but we're going to have one if we had two we could choose a ripple interval there we've got a breakaway altitude there which is simply not relevant we can have a fuse of impact or delay and that's that now we'll go into control you'll see that this has to align and it takes over three minutes and the alignment quality will count down to zero you do not want to fire the weapon until the alignment quality is zero but we can carry on setting it up it's pp which target channel is the PP target. If you remember, it was in data slot 36, and that's our only target at the moment, so we've set it to data slot 36. OAP, we're still not sure what that does. It doesn't seem to do anything for us, but let uh, let us know if you know better. Open the uh, height that the bomb will explode at if it is a cluster type munition. This will not be a cluster type munition, so it's not relevant per se, but if it was going to be a cluster type munition, I could type in 100 feet, um, 500 feet, 700 feet, whatever. And while this is aligning, let's go and have a look at the HSD. So, that is our SPI there. Our SPI is the target and it was created from the choosing of our pre-planned channel 36 or data entry 36. The minimum range that we have to be outside of is this circle here. We are currently there. The maximum range that we have to be within is that there. So we are currently outside of maximum range, also shown by the fact that this line is dotted. When the dotted, when, when the dotted line goes solid, 
we are in range to fire. Next, azimuth. If we wanted this a uh, bomb weapon to come in from a certain bearing to avoid SAM or trees or whatever, we can control that. We would go here, we would type in say 087 and you can see how now that I would need to be in that sector there aiming towards the target for the bomb to be able to fly in at 087 as specified. I don't want that today but that's something to bear in mind, very important piece of um, knowledge there. Uh, if I want to set it back to nothing just put an invalid uh, bearing in there and then it goes off okay we're now going to wait for the alignment time in fact I can note on the HUD here weapon is ready the mast arm is off we're in air to ground mode we're in pre-planned mode range to the speed 22.2 miles with closure rate of 405 knots it's on the ball site with zero degrees deflection alignment is complete bomb is ready to fire off pause power on now this weapon is is not powered the faster and the higher we are going that will equate to the maximum range so if I'm going at 50,000 feet at Mach 2 you know we'll be able to send this thing 70 miles or so at the moment with current parameters it's going to be about 20 miles by the looks of things you can see that the dynamic zone is changing as my altitude and my speed goes up I'm now in parameters to fire so I'm going to press and hold weapon release and that will fire And kaboomy, pre plan one detonation, 1,000 pounds of TNT in your face. Next, we're going to go and find these guys, uh, which can move, so we have to find them through our teapot. So, we're going to go and set up the teapot. I'm going to draw on this screen here because this one and this one are busy doing other things. So, here, we're going to go pod, if I can. We're going to go teapot. We're going to cage the teapot. Oh, turn it on, sorry. Cage the teapot. Gonna make it soy, it already is. Let's find the target. Let's go narrow. Whoops. Yep, narrow. Zoom in. Let's see if we can designate one of these puppies. Okay, we've got a point track on the first one. That's uh, near enough, I think. So that's automatically created a speed for our next bomb. We can see our speed there. We're in range and we're in parameters. Let's go set up the next bomb quickly. So we're gonna TOO quantity one, no interval between bombs. Breakaway doesn't matter, direct fuse, and let's go to the control, it's obviously aligned. Got the uh, information there, is from the speed now, um, from the T-Pod. We've got OAP, space doesn't do anything. Open, that is the amount of feet above the target that the cluster will release. Azimuth as last time, option, we're going to keep that as single. And we're TOO, so we're ready to go. Unpause, fire the weapon, and we'll be Oscar Mike. Warning, warning, warning. Set your faces to stun, ladies and gentlemen. Three hundred feet. Out go the sub munitions. These sub munitions will contain pucks. Out go the pucks. They will guide by IR sources and get ready for my magic. There, boom, 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 boom. Good sum. And we just destroyed a platoon of tanks. Now, there are less pucks, I think, than in a normal CBU. There's like six or seven pucks. Whereas in a, like a CBU 97, I think you get more pucks. I may be wrong, but uh, just one thing to bear in mind. So, we've shown how to use it in pre plan mode. We've shown how to use it in uh, TOO mode. Only disadvantage of the weapon is shut up. You can only carry two, and they are quite heavy and non-aerodynamic. Other than that, amazing weapons. Hope that was useful. See you later.